So it seems that Donald Trump, real estate mogul, businessman, and longtime golfer, has become a full-time politician. The Republican frontrunner is making news for his brash approach and no PC commentary, so I thought this seemed to be the perfect time to take a no PC look at the Donald's golf swing and discuss what works and what he may want to work on, if he gets any free time in the next few years, that is. So let's start by taking a look at the setup position and from this down the line view with the driver, uh, there's simply a lot to like. Uh, he does a really nice job getting set to the ball. He's relaxed, looks very comfortable. Uh, you can even notice that his pelvis and hips are in a very good position. Uh, the weight seems very centered on his feet. Uh, he's got a nice foundation. Again, mostly I like the fact that he looks relaxed. Uh, his upper back is rounded. Uh, his arms are hanging nicely. And outside of maybe, you know, a couple specifics, if I happen to be there with him in person that we might talk about, there's really not a lot uh, to address here. The one thing I would um, kind of just quickly note with him and, and you know make a comment on would be that if anything, I would like to see his head fall a bit more. Just naturally let the weight of his head let it fall. If I draw an arrow here kind of pointing where his eyes would be looking uh, directly, if he was not allowed to use peripheral vision, you could see this, this would be slightly above the golf ball. Um, if, if we just allowed his neck to kind of round a little bit more uh, and his head to kind of fall, the eyes could look more directly down at the golf ball. And for those of you watching the video, what you might gain from this is that if you've had trouble playing in the past with bifocals or sunglasses or that sort of thing, uh, this could be part of the reason. Your chin may be up a little bit, your back may be too erect. So just kind of relax, let the head fall a little bit, let the neck, neck relax and round, and that'll let your eyes look directly at the ball and you won't have to see it peripherally. Let's take a look now at how the club uh, moves away in the early part of the backswing and then as it continues up. And I think you'll notice here, it's very interesting how quickly uh, the club is going to move to the inside. So the club head, and this is something, you know, when you watch golf, a lot of golf swings at the, at the highest level, you might not see. So this, you see this and go, well, that's different. We should fix that. And I'm not even necessarily saying you should fix it, but I think it is interesting at how quickly the club moves to the inside. Uh, the hands move inside, the shaft move inside, the club head, everything. And I really want to more go over why this is happening. So you'll notice that almost immediately he's turning his torso at a very fast rate. His hips are turning at a very fast rate. You can see the front knee is flexing, the back knee is losing flex. This is allowing his hips to turn and they're doing so very quickly. Uh, by this stage, he's reached almost a full hip turn. At the same time, uh, his shoulders are turning very flat. And I'm going to mark a line here as I show this. But um, this is something that actually works to his advantage later in the golf swing. And we'll talk about that briefly uh, later. And the other thing to note here is how the left arm, the lead arm, and the trail arm, of course, too, because of the way that's they're attached, but is rotating in a clockwise direction very quickly. So you can see from this picture where my arrows are pointing that the left forearm and the back of the glove is pointing are pointing up in the air. So again, uh, these are the things that are going into play here to cause this club to kind of whip to the inside and get around him. And again, I'm not even necessarily saying I'd change this. I look at what's happening after this and Mr. Trump does some pretty interesting and nice things sort of to help himself in transition. So. Uh, it's really at this point something that I, I want to just talk about why it's happening more than whether I'd change it or not. Uh, I use the swing on the, the driver on the right there from the face on view just to, as a reference point. So you can note that <clears throat> you can see the head is moved uh, somewhat to the right during the backswing. Uh, you can see there is translation. It has moved off the ball. Now this is the driver, so it may not be quite as big a deal. Uh, and I do see this and it becomes a little more common. Uh, in players with more flat shoulder turns. Now that's not to say that a flatter shoulder turn player can't stay centered over the ball. There are ways to do that. Uh, I'm not going to get into that much detail in this video, but with that flatter shoulder turn, you will many times uh, notice that move to the right. And really, I wouldn't even, uh, I'm not looking generally speaking or asking for big movement off the ball. I generally uh, think that too much movement can, can be, get to be a problem, but I also don't want to make too liberal of a statement here by any means. Trust me on that. A small move to the right is perfectly fine, and it seems Mr. Trump is very comfortable with this small move to the right. Though we may notice in the near future, he may become much more centered. So as the club moves to the top, uh, Mr. Trump does a great job of not lifting his arms too much. 
you can see that as that goes up, and, and many times with flatter shoulder turns players, you see a, a big lifting of the arms that can actually cause some problems for the downswing, but you don't see that from Mr. Trump, and I think this is important. And uh, the way his shoulders sit, again, actually start to help him with the downswing here as he starts down. But I think this is huge that he basically lets his arms be carried uh, up to the top. Uh, he allows, it sets him up for the swing down to the ball and gets him ready to be able to do this, uh, hopefully without swinging too much to the left as he swings back to the ball. Um, I think other things to point out here that look great would be this left wrist angle. You can see how flat that left wrist is. Uh, again, this is something from a lot of higher handicap players. You'll see that left wrist cupped in what we call an extended position, but Mr. Trump has this left wrist in a great position, and he's in a good position to deliver the sweet spot uh, to the ball as much from the inside as possible with some of the other things he has going on in the downswing. So many times with a backswing like Mr. Trump's, you'll see the downswing action sort of uh, quote-unquote reverse, and the swing will move over the top a bit, especially from that uh, club head kind of flung around his body into the inside kind of thing. But we don't see that with Mr. Trump. And it's actually one of the reasons why, why I may not address the backswing stuff at all. So you'll notice, and I'll use an arrow here, but you'll notice as Mr. Trump starts down, let me get these out of there, but you'll notice as he starts down, there's a very small shift of his uh, hand path and his left arm going in this direction, which is great. And again, this is something that happens uh, very commonly in good players. This is something you'll see if you look at players across the tours even, you're gonna see this small shift. And by all reports, Mr. Trump is a very good player carrying a handicap somewhere between three and six. And what's happening here is he's beginning to start the rotation and create some speed. It's, and the small shift of the left arm is in response to that. He's really using, he's beginning to use the ground for resistance uh, in this rotational move. And really that's outstanding. The ability to rotate fast through the shot is paramount to creating speed. And Mr. Trump is able to do that without swinging too far to the left and creating a glancing blow on the ball. And I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. So as he gets into this shot, he's, he rotates very fast. His hips are much more open than the typical club player. Uh, and he ro rotates kind of hard and very quickly into that golf ball. And many golfers and even instructors with their students, if you're an instructor watching this, are afraid to open up and rotate too quickly for fear of coming over the top and getting into a position like this. And this really does not need to be something that average golfers avoid. I mean, the average higher handicap player is actually too closed, but they stay too closed because they struggle to control with their arms and hand path and their wrists are doing, doing during the downswing. Uh, if the movement of these parts put the sweet spot in a position to swing across the ball or over the top, the body will in turn respond to that and stay too closed. So with a lot of amateurs, it's really the body staying too closed in response to what the arms and wrists are doing. So let's look at how Mr. Trump manages his hand path and wrists and even what his shoulders are doing. The shoulders are important and not to be missed uh, to allow himself to open up quickly but still not swing too far to the left. So as he starts the club down, again, the hand path is very good, uh, but most importantly, uh, his left wrist condition is sound and solid, and his left arm isn't beginning to rotate too fast. So if his left arm was rotating early in the downswing in a counterclockwise manner, that would start shifting the path of the sweet spot out and across the ball, but he's not doing that. He's actually resisting that slightly early in the downswing, now that arm is going to rotate, the right arm, the right form will rotate with it. All these things will happen as the downswing completes, but he's doing a nice job of resisting that early in the downswing and keeping his shoulders in the right position to be able to uh, swing as much in and out at this ball as possible with that, that rotational uh, rate and speed. And again, I wouldn't say he's swinging way in and out at this ball. In fact, I think he's swinging... Uh, you could, if you got measurements, he's swinging slightly left, but it's only a little bit. Uh, it's not really creating a glancing blow. He's got a nice driver pattern. And he's hitting like pull draws here. So this is a very solid shot. And one other thing to take note of is the position of his elbows on the way down. The elbow trajectory is very important, very important. And we'd see this is different than your typical higher handicap player. Uh, so the last thing I do want to mention as far as the way Mr. Trump uses the ground and rotates his body and uh, kind of again the ground for resistance to rotate fast there is he does a great job of what we call uh, Heck and this is a great reference for mr. Trump, but 
keeping his hips or his back butt cheek on the wall as he does this. So as he rotates, you'll notice that his hips and pelvis don't push directly to the golf ball. Uh, he stays, this helps him stay in his inclination to the ground. And he not only creates speed, but he does it again with his inclination to the ground intact. So very nice. And frankly, I could make this wall. I mean, we could make this wall as big as we wanted. We could make a huge wall. We could add feet to this wall. Mexico could even pay for this wall and he would still stay on the wall. So finally, as Mr. Trump finishes the swing, goes into the follow through, you see some more good things. He's winning here. I mean, Mr. Trump continues with the, with the winning. Uh, he's got the arms extended. You can see the sweet spot path uh, is actually helped by that as, as the arms are extended and the body starts to extend. We can help kind of keep the uh, sweet spot path moving out to the right as much as possible. The one thing I think he could do a better job of here would be extending his spine a bit. Uh, from the face on view, you'd see him bent over too much. Uh, if he extends his spine and expands his chest, he'd create more speed and make this much easier on himself. So overall, a really sound motion. There's surely things he could do better, but he does a solid job of creating a good downswing after some unique early backswing positions. Again, you keep these things up, he's gonna be winning both on and off the golf course on a regular basis. If you'd like to see more of what we're all about at Golf Evolution, check out golfevolution.com or the rest of our YouTube channel here.